so then you're able to do it. وشيخ التربية تكفي عنه الصحبة بذي دين عقل ناصح and the Sheikh of Tarbiyah, it suffices to have good company. Like you don't have to have a Sheikh of Tarbiyah if you're in good company that's going to reflect you and help you get, get better yourself. As for the Sheikh that elevates you, it's enough to sit with them, have a meeting with them, and take the barakah of their company. Because those are people that if you, if you spend time with them, you get more energy. You get more himma. You, you, like Imam Malik said, we used to go visit uh, Ibn al-Munkadir. And then we would like really look down on ourselves for days afterward. In other words, he was such an amazing human being that they would feel, oh, we have such a long way to go. So you don't get arrogant when you're around people like that because you just, it's always good to look at people better than you uh, in the deen. Uh, uh, but in dunya, look at people lower than you. See, we do the opposite. People look at uh, the majority of people and they say, oh, I'm good. I pray five times a day. I sat for Ramadan. Look at all those people. They don't do that. And then when they look at dunya, they look at people, oh, I wish I had that. And say, he's got an amazing house. Oh, his spouse you know, is so beautiful. You know, that, and so they envy. Whereas it should be the opposite. You look at dean. And, yes. And so then he says, uh, with Thani, so the second question, the second uh, answer had to do with the hal al talib. So al balid, like somebody who's not very bright, la budda lahum sheikh min rabbi. He has to have a teacher. Wal labib takfir kutub al tarqiyhi, lakin hu la yaslam min ruhunati nafsi. But he's always going to have problems, and that's why Sahaba, they had the Prophet sallallahu And traditionally, it's good to have a teacher who is like that. Unfortunately, you have to be very careful because there's a lot of people that uh, are not qualified. These are days when people should be humble and just recognize that the, the greats are, are largely gone. There are very few people that really, really have that. And then they're limited. They can't have, they have a few people around them. I mean, I, there was a sheikh that I used to visit in Morocco who was an amazing sheikh. Like, I never saw more light on a human being than this man. Like, he could literally light up a room. He, he was the great Quran uh, master, Mecki in Kiran. And uh, his house, you couldn't get into it. It was, it was like a fortress. You, you, they would open the door, look, and then if you were, you know, and they would only let people. So I was fortunate to, to go there more than once. But he did Khatam of Quran from one of the, uh, seven qiraat every week. So they would do one week uh, like nafi' uh, qalun an nafi' then the next week warsh an nafi' and then the next week hafsan asim and then the next week ibn kathir and, and they did that and he did that for decades every single week. And I remember I mean I'll give, uh, this, give you this fa'ida when we finished, I was there for a khatam. They finished the khatam. It's the one where in the last uh, juz they say Allahu Akbar after they finished the the qiraat. Uh, and and and, uh, and and so everybody when they finished, they were asking for dua, and they were all asking for a fath in the Quran. And so I was like the last person in line. I got there, and, and I put my hand in his hand, and then I was going to ask him for fath in the Quran, but I didn't. I just said. Ask Allah that he gives me a good seal. And he went, Naam, Naam. Like he just got so excited. He said, Naam, Naam. And he just said it over and over again. Like, you got it. You know, you got it. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. Husn al Khatima. So we should all want that. Husn al Khatima. So that's the student, you know. But the problem with the student who doesn't have a teacher is he said he won't be free of ego problems. And, and very often he'll be, he said, you know, he'll see himself. Yeah. And you see that in, in, in people that didn't have tarbiyah. This is a really important one. So here's the third one. Looking at the mujahadat. فَالتَّقْوَى لَا تَحْتَاجُ إِلَى الشَّيْخِ to be a taqi, you do not need a sheikh because it's clear what you have to do and it's clear uh, uh, the sharia, the guidance of the Prophet is clear. 
what you need to do. Awamir Allah, Nawahidah, knowing those and then following them. And then what is tiqamatu tahtaju ila shaykh? He tamiz al asrahi minha. But to be upright, to have istiqama, you know, in your character and all those things, you need a teacher in that because they'll show you what's more appropriate, the better way. And really clever people can, it'll suffice books. And you have to